my dear brothers let's keep the concept of loyalty in our mind and be loyal to the ummah be loyal to allah and be loyal to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the sign of a hypocrite is that when he speaks he goes he lies when he makes a promise he will go against his promise and when that person is trusted they will betray the trust so here islam is a religion of truthfulness again good khuluq is good iman good character is good iman one of the basic concepts of ahl sunnah wal jamaah is to be loyal to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where is where is our loyalty towards our ulama where is the loyalty towards our parents the ones who brought us brought us up the ones who raised us up the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made birul walidain more important than jihad fi sabilillah where is that loyalty to the parents my dear brothers the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam emphasized on the concept of loyalty that he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man lam yashkur al abd lam yashkur allah whoever is not thankful to the people is not thankful to allah let's keep those words in mind let's ask ourselves today how loyal are we to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how loyal are we to rasulullah how loyal are we to our teachers how loyal are we to the muslims how loyal are we to the parents and always keep this verse in your mind where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes on the importance and allah emphasizes on the importance of loyalty where allah says min al mu'minina rijalun sadaqu ma ahadu allah alayh fa minhum man qala nahbah wa minhum man yantadhir wa ma baddalu tabdila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasize on the importance of loyalty and keeping your promise and keeping your word where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and from the believers there are men Allah described them as men they kept the promise they kept the, the covenant to the word that they have given some of them have fulfilled their obligation and some of them are still waiting but yet they have not changed my dear brothers Let's keep the concept of loyalty in our mind and be loyal to the ummah, be loyal to Allah, and be loyal to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in a tradition, while describing the hypocrite, he said that the sign of the hypocrite is that إذا حدث كذب وإذا وعد أخلف وإذا تمين خان. The sign of a hypocrite is that when he speaks. He goes, he lies. When he speaks, he lies. When he makes a promise, he will go against his promise. And when that person is trusted, they will betray the trust. So here, this betrayal of trust is what the Prophet ﷺ describes the hypocrite as. As Muslims, we must remember that it is our responsibility that we always fulfill a trust. Anytime we are entrusted with anything. And the trust, this word trust is very broad. There is a trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. There is a trust that our parents have given us. There is a trust that our wife has given us. There is a trust that we owe to our children. There is a trust that we owe to society. And then there is this physical trust as well, this object that people may give us and we need to give it back. So we must make sure as Muslims we fulfill all the trust that we've been entrusted with. So for example, when we talk about trust given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's the deen, that's the Qur'an, that is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us regarding this trust on the Day of Judgment. That tell me, how did you deal with Allah, Allah's Qur'an, Allah's book? How did you deal with Allah's messenger? How did you deal with Allah's deen? So make sure that we fulfill the right of that Qur'an, that Nabi, and that deen. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to us on the Day of Judgment that this body was a trust to you. How did you fulfill the right of this body? You know, keeping the body healthy, making sure that we don't waste the body. This is a sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ that many of us, we completely forget. We talk about the Prophet ﷺ's worship and the Prophet ﷺ's character, but what about the physique of the Prophet ﷺ? Islam is a religion of truthfulness. In the sense that, Whatever a Muslim says, he must abide by it. And this is why when you look into the practices of Islam, you find truth everywhere. And among such truth is fulfilling your promises, honoring your pledges. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned us from breaking a promise 
and from not fulfilling a pledge when he made these two characteristics part of the characteristics found in a hypocrite. Allah says, O you who believe, fear Allah and be among the truthful. So in order to fulfill your promise, you have to honor such promises and pledges. And when you look at the seerah, the beautiful biography of the Prophet you will never ever find a single incident when he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam broke a promise. He honored his pledges. And fulfilling your promise and pledge would be with, with Allah Azza wa Jal. It would be with Allah the Almighty when you worship Him and not associate any other with Him. Fulfilling your promises would be with your spouses, with your children, with your parents, and with everyone else. She supported him emotionally and religiously here. Think about this. She says to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wallahi la yukhzik Allahu abada. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will never disgrace you. Why did she say that Allah will never disgrace you? And she started to mention, إِنَّكَ لَتَصِلْ rahim Because you uphold the ties of kinship. You're good to your neighbor. You, you're generous to your neighbor. You know, you, you treat the orphans well. You take up the cause of the one who has been wronged. In essence, what is she saying to the Prophet Wasallam? She's saying, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves you for the same reasons that I love you and the same reasons that I, that I pursued you for marriage. Again, good khuluq is good iman. Good character is good iman. She recognized those things in the Prophet ﷺ. And look at the way that this wife speaks about her husband. You know how beautiful that a spouse will speak about her spouse or a spouse would speak about his spouse in that beautiful manner. This is how I see you. And not only did she support him emotionally here, she said to the Prophet ﷺ, let's go to Waraq ibn Nofa, let's go to my cousin who's a biblical scholar and let's see what he has to say. She's the one reassuring him ﷺ and taking him over to, to, to Waraq, to, to, who would reveal to the Prophet ﷺ that this was his first encounter with Jibreel alayhi salam. Think about this. And then Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who was raised in that household, he recalls the nights where Rasulullah would wake up and pray and Khadija would wake up and stand right next to the Prophet and also pray. I mean, that's, that, that's incredible. She didn't say to the Prophet, All right, I don't know what this journey is that you're going on right now, but you know, I'm not going to stand up and pray, but I'll let you stand up and pray. She stood up and she prayed with him. So she gave him emotional support. She gave him religious support. When the Prophet ﷺ called to his people and the people rejected him, she didn't say we were doing good in society, we had high status and now our reputation is being tarnished because she is a tahira and he is a sadiq al-ameen wasallam. Our loyalty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see, one of the basic concepts of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, of the Aqeed of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, is to be loyal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People are loyal. What is loyalty? Loyalty is defined as, is defined as a strong feeling and support, a strong feeling of support and allegiance. Everyone in this life, everyone in this world is loyal to something. Someone can be loyal to his business, another can be loyal to his job, one person can be loyal to his family, to his parents, to his wife, to his children. Someone can be loyal to his house, someone can be loyal to his farm or his land, someone to his cars, someone can be loyal to uh, the Islam and the Masjid. So everyone has his own type of loyalty. And there is nothing wrong with being loyal to something. Actually, loyalty has a good meaning. Loyal, loyalty is beautiful. Loyalty is good. But first and foremost, we have to be loyal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because with all of these things happening around us, with coronaviruses going like a fire, 
with uh, oppression and we've been Muslims being targeted with uh, people being killed with children and the families being torn apart we have to remind ourselves that first and foremost we have to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it doesn't matter what's gonna happen we're all gonna go back to our creator who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why it's very important that we have to be loyal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost